but let's get going here. All right, let's create an eight second clip and add some text and music. All right, so when we go to Lakeland for our assignment three, we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is go to Canva, open up Canva, right? We're gonna go to video and we're gonna choose just regular um, HD video 1920. We've got different choices of B-roll and content things we got over here, text, elements. Um, we've got video there, so you can grab a lot of stuff and drag it on the timeline and create some nice videos and other content. So I'm gonna click design, and then it gives me some templates. So I'm gonna grab a clip here that I can change the text on, right? It's already got some animated text. So I'm gonna go ahead and click there. And what I'm doing, I'm gonna change the text. I think in our assignment, just put your name and put the word productions down below it. But I'm gonna to try to move real quick here. Um, so what we do is take our arrow down to the end of the clip and stretch it back and forth, right? So we can see that's four seconds. I'm gonna drag another clip here. It doesn't matter what clips you drag, and you can see that's a long one, right? But anyway, um, go ahead and change the text to my uh, my portfolio and if I could spell it would say my portfolio um, so evidently I can't spell so I'm going to delete that clip below there and now we want to make sure these clips are each four seconds long right see how my arrow turns to a double-sided arrow I hold the mouse down I pull it over and I shorten the clip so it's four seconds and four seconds but if I hover in between them I could put in a transition or put in a page, but I want to put in a transition. I want to add a page. So we go up on audition some transitions just by hovering over it, right? I'm going to think I'm going to put in dissolve. Now I've got video. Uh, okay, they went down to 3.7 se seconds, so, I'm, so you got to tweak it. So this project has to be exactly 8 seconds. We work in exact times here. So we just want two clips, two four second clips that equal eight seconds, right? So that's the project's requirements, eight second clip, right? So now we can see all the elements alongside you looking for some kind of audio, right? So there we go to elements. And then once you click elements, you click your cursor right up there in the search area. And you get these nice boxes full of content, lines, stickers, gets a little tricky in there so click elements put your cursor there and the boxes show up you got graphics stickers lines arrows shapes uh, animated shapes all these things you can put on your video so you got video backgrounds tables charts and down at the bottom you can see it in the green there audio so click audio and we're just gonna audition a quick um, few clips here you'll audition them and then you'll just drag a drag a clip underneath your video. So we've got some music underneath the video, and we've changed the text, and they're both four seconds long, which is total eight seconds. So we just have to share this next border, right? We can if you want. I'm gonna maybe try a little fade out on the music with the, with the effects, but you don't have to, it's not required. Uh, if I want to preview it, I can hit preview and it probably won't preview for you. It's really slow sometimes. So you'll just want to share it and export it, audition it, and then, then upload it for your 100 points. So uh, let's get right to the hard part. Click share. Right? It's up in the right hand corner. You know, Macintosh uses the word share a lot there. So we'll go share. And that's going to open up a window and down at the bottom, not the purple button, down at the bottom says download, right? Share, download, then click the purple download button, right there, purple download. And now it's gonna start exporting, right? Compiling, or what we like to call rendering, like in, when we're rendering 3D content in Maya or 4D or 3D Max or whatever. So it takes a while depending on how fast your internet speed is um, so you might have to wait for a while now we're exporting the mp4 and it's gonna eventually here ask us well where do you want to save it that's the most important thing about interactive multimedia for us is right we want to remember where we save things remember the folders that we do with things we want to name things with proper naming conventions so we can find them for future projects and make work more efficiently so it's going to open up a window we want to make sure we know where to save it 
Why? Because we have to retrieve it and browse for it in our local file and so we can submit it for credit. Right? So we're saving things, copying things, adjusting things, designing things, and readjusting things. So uh, let's see, it should open up a window here once it gets done and renders. And I'm going to save it to, let's see. Uh, let's see how it auditions there. It's, um, and remember, if you do have any questions, you can, there we go. You can save it to a, make sure you know where you're saving it so you can retrieve it. And like I said, if you want to just do this with me on Zoom or something, it's no problem for me. So I'm going to go back to Lakeland. I'm going to open up assignment three, click the text there. And let's see, browse local file, right? Remember how I did that. So I want to click the text on the assignment right there, assignment three. Um, and then I want to scroll down to browse local files. Okay, click browse local files. And you'll have to, hopefully, if you're lucky like me here, it'll open up to the folder that uh, has the video your exported or shared video, right? And there it is, it's loaded, ready for submission for 100 points. It's an eight second video clip with text and music. You're all done, right? All right, thanks again. Contact me anytime, I can do this with you together.